My husband didn't turn up on my wedding day, so I'm currently honeymooning on my own. But I'm happy with that because, you know, I'm obviously too good for him. Yes, he is famous. Yes, he is rich. Does he deserve me? Absolutely not. I'm here sunning it up in a very exclusive hotel with my cocktails and lots of sexy Tunisian men here. Because uh, what happens in Tunisia stays in Tunisia. And to be fair, I don't think there's a Tunisian man in the whole world that wouldn't want me. Okay, so I was due to marry a very famous actor in England um, on Friday, but he didn't turn up. We had only had our first date like two months ago, but we'd planned the wedding, um, got engaged very, very quickly. On our first date, actually, we got engaged. And um, he didn't turn up to our wedding. I was walking through the, through the city, crying my eyes out with mascara everywhere. Um, just stop all your protesters, decided to throw a bottle of piss all over my wedding dress which nearly took me over the edge, if I'm completely honest. So I've just got here at this a celebs only, a millionaires only hotel. It is like a cross between a cave and a castle. Look at that, it's so quirky. I love it. Well, I'm gonna give you a guided tour. It is a very exclusive five-star all-inclusive resort and lots of celebrities are staying. Okay, here is a cute little bathroom. Very, very modern, I love it. Shower is me looking absolutely not tanned enough yet, but I will get there. Uh, I'll show you the rest. So this is just adorable and unfortunately my husband isn't here to share it with me. I am honeymooning on my own, but whatever. Uh, cute, cute. I'll show you the pool view that I've got. This is my balcony and a lush view as you can see of the pool. It is unreal. Now, as I said, I am on my honeymoon, but my husband's not here. So hopefully I will find a rich man very soon. I am on the lookout. I might be a little bit tipsy right now, but I swear I've just seen Jose Mourinho. For some reason, I've got this cocktail and they put a courgette in it. Like, who puts a courgette in a cocktail? I'm just about to go and try a traditional Tunisian thalassa, which is where I'm gonna go and get a spa treatment and like, I'm gonna get covered in like clay and seaweed algae and stuff like that. I feel like I'm in some kind of medieval cave, it's beautiful. I'm gonna get this like clay mask all over me and I'm gonna go back in the steam room. I had to come out of there early because I'm absolutely dying of heat and I can't see with my eyelashes. It smells like Vicks Vapor Rub but on steroids, like this is strong stuff, it's clearing my sinuses. So I just had this jacuzzi in this little room and it is so adorable. So I'm just relaxing now on these little lounges they've got. This is just what I need after the stress of Terry standing me up on my wedding day and then just stop oil pouring on my wedding dress. This is just lush. I'm loving it. With my traditional green tea. So I'm just about to go for my 50 minute massage. Look how beautiful this place is. I'm so lucky. So I've just finished my 50 minute massage and all of the treatments I've just had and I'm feeling like a new woman. Terry. They said I had a lot of muscle stress because of you. I'm not going to let you stress me out again. So far. That's wild. <laughs> Lots of things going on there. Imagine being stood up on your wedding day. It's what's meant to be the best day of your life, the big moment for you as a couple and you get stood up and the man doesn't turn up for whatever reason. But you know, fair play to her. She's bitten the bullet a bit and literally gone on, on the honeymoon by herself when obviously it should have been them two together. And you know, thankfully that the man didn't actually show up on the honeymoon as well because then, then there would have been a lot of chaos. <laughs> she's showing that um yeah she's obviously probably still still hurting from this actor who's uh you know obviously very famous very rich is very wealthy has lots of money she's hurting from, from all that but she's still you know moving on and trying to enjoy her honeymoon as, as best as she, she possibly can you know she's getting a 15 minute massage she's taking full advantage of the all-inclusive five-star resort that's full of uh, famous people I'm sure and she's there uh, as she said on the hunt for, for a new a new rich man that, that she can uh, in, enjoy a life with obviously part of me is thinking there is she just a little bit of it of a gold digger uh, possibly who knows um, yeah how did that she uh, get to actually meet this rich actor because you know for, from watching that she doesn't seem very uh, posh or, or anything like that you know on about the courgettes and the cocktails and you know, every all the facilities 
uh, that she that she's using. She was on about obviously the, the Vicks Vapor Rub, which I found funny, and uh, she thought that she saw Jose Mourinho, which uh, I, I wish that she did actually uh, meet him and get to see him because that would have been pretty cool. Um, <laughs> yeah, but. I, I do hope for her side that she actually does move on because obviously once this honeymoon period, this honeymoon holiday comes to an end for her, she's going to be back to reality in the UK and it'll be like, you know, she's got to pick up all the pieces um, from a, a, a supposed to be marriage that's obviously there no more. Um, so it'll be interesting to see where her life takes her and what she's actually feeling or wanting um, to move on to next. Thanks for watching Story Chanda. Don't forget to like and follow.